Hi, my name is Andrew Cook, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at XCraft. And today I'm going to show you how to install the two-axis gimbal on an X Plus One. So, let's go over our parts. Obviously, you need an X Plus One. This is one of our test models, so it doesn't have any props on it. Uh, you're going to need a GoPro. You're going to need the two bolts and the two nuts that came in the package for the nose cone placement. You are going to need the two-axis gimbal, a battery, uh, and some tools to install the GoPro on the two-axis gimbal. So first things first, let's turn this thing around. Uh, now if your nose cone is installed, you're going to have to remove that with these bolts and nuts. So I've already done that, so the nose cone just comes off. We'll set that aside. Uh, next thing you want to do is remove the battery hatch. Okay. And inside you'll have at least two wires. Some of you may have three. So this one's obviously here for your power. This one is to connect the power to the gimbal. And this one is for FPV, if you have that uh, in your unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the gimbal. So this is the gimbal. This is the downside of it. So depending on which way you want the camera facing, you want the gimbal. Uh, most of you will want it pointing straight ahead as you fly and not upside down. So what you're going to do is you want to put the bottom side of the gimbal on the bottom of the craft. Okay, it just places right in there. But first you want to take this wire and you want to run it through the hole here. Okay, just so it goes through and you want to line up with the spacers. So you can see that wire is going through and you see my blue vibration isolators are through the holes. So now what you want to do is you take your bolt and you slide it through. Now when you do this, you want to be a little careful. There are some wires here that are exposed. And so depending on your model and depending on how the wires are soldered, you might want to go over them or under them, uh, depending on exactly how it is. Everyone's just slightly different because they are handmade. And we'll do the same on the other side. So stick the bolt through. You can see they're both there. And you want to attach it. Attach the nut there to tighten it down. Uh, I'm just going to hand tighten it <clears throat> just for the purpose of this video. Um, but you might want to tighten it down a bit harder just in case it doesn't fall off or anything along those lines. And if you do plan on using it without removing the gimbal, some Loctite might be a great solution for you there. So once that's on and nice and secure, you see that's not coming off, you want to install your GoPro. So this does take a little bit of doing. Uh, but it's not too bad. Basically, you want to take off this bolt and this nut with this spacer. So mine are just hand tighten. So I'll take that off. All right, now we do find this is a little bit easier to do it with the gimbals uh, already installed. It keeps it from moving slightly. So you notice here you have tabs and a hole. This fits right in between the carbon fiber parts there. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to slide the bolt through uh, with the spacer in the center. This can be a little bit tricky. So make sure everything's aligned. And as you see, it goes right through. Uh, and you want to place the nut on as well. Now this you definitely don't want hand tightened. You want this tightened down pretty good. Um, carbon fiber is incredibly durable. Uh, so you want it pretty snug in there. And basically what you're trying to avoid is movement of it. So if I leave it like that, you see my GoPro will just kind of fall. It moves very easily in there. You don't want that. You want it fairly tight. Otherwise, if, as you're flying, the camera will just fall. Uh, and that's not the idea. So let's tighten that down a bit more. As you see, that's definitely pretty snug in there, and it still has some movement, which is a little good for adjusting. Okay. Now, the next part, what you want to do is you want to balance the gimbal. So the camera right now is pointing straight up. We don't want that. So we have to move it a little bit so it points just like that and holds there by itself. So it might take a little bit. And it's okay if the GoPro is a little bit to the side. Uh, that shouldn't bother it whatsoever. All right, so that's plugged in. 
Now the next thing you want to do is you want to connect the gimbal cable. There's only one way it can go in. Uh, you can't go in backwards as you see here, it won't allow it. So the red goes to the red, the black goes to the black. It slides in, make sure it's secure and tight. And we're going to tuck this wire uh, just out of the way. Uh, the same as the FPV if you're not using it. Okay. Now the next step is to install the battery. We'll place the battery in there. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Okay. And we're going to connect the power. Now when you do this, it will flash green on the gimbal, then it will go yellow, and then it will go blue. And during this time, the gimbal will probably shake, as you see there, as it's trying to find its adjustments and find the correct position for it. Uh, it does vibrate a little bit, just kind of in the setup phase until it gets comfortable. All right, in about 10 seconds, it should be able to uh, find itself and be in a good position. Now, if the gimbal is really far off, uh, it will not. So make sure it is aligned. And once you're done with that, you can tuck all your wires away. And with your wires tucked away, uh, you can install the battery case again. And you see the gimbal there uh, and it's blue so regularly you just hit the power button and as you take off and start flying it holds in position so as you're flying around you see the gimbal holds there fairly nicely and it can take quite a bit of heat so and as we set it down you know it levels itself out and comes back up so pretty interesting that's how you install it um, and feel free